I'm Stan Copeland, and I am the pastor of Lover's Lane United Methodist Church in Dallas, Texas. Some have called me the Picklin' Parson, but my main audience in this video is one who calls me Daddy-O, our daughter, Emily. So, here we go. Dear Emily, I remember your baptism was in 1992 on Father's Day at First United Methodist Church in Houston, Texas. Our beloved pastor, Dr. Bill Henson, placed the water on your head as the mark of our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, claiming you for Christ and His church. You and your older brother were raised in the faith as PKs, preacher's kids. You both did so well in that role. And more than that, you greatly appreciated your church time with your friends and the experiences that the United Methodist Church afforded you. In the church, you were confirmed in the faith and claimed Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. You were in classes and groups, went to camps and retreats, participated in mission trips both here and abroad. You grew up always present in the church and loving the church experience, well, for the most part. You are now an attorney and doing so well, and your mom and I are so proud of you. You live in a world of questions and have good ones for me. So let me deal with one of them uh, right now. First, you asked, what will the United Methodist Church look like going forward? Well, we'll be a little smaller in the United States, going from 31,000 member churches to 24,000 member churches. But so many of the congregations that chose to leave were smaller and largely Southern and in the United States. It was not the case everywhere, but in North Texas, I don't think we lost one county seat church and only one large church when independent. The number one missional agenda going forward for the United Methodist Church will be evangelism, which is a politically tarnished word, I must admit. In its best sense, though, it means sharing the good news of Jesus' love. His cross and resurrection is the main message. Now hear me. Reaching young people like you and those younger than you, attracting young clergy who are called to serve, will be the primary focus of the United Methodists. Making disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world is our mission. And central to United Methodists is our theology, accentuating God's love, forgiveness, acceptance, and inclusion, all centered on the cross of our Savior Jesus, who did for us that which we cannot do for ourselves. Believing the Holy Spirit works within us to bring about the love of our Lord Jesus for God and all people is an essential belief of United Methodists. We pray to love God and others as Jesus did. Foundational to United Methodist Christians is what we call the connection which is the family approach of churches working together for the ultimate good. We will move forward with a powerfully caring response and our family approach, which we call the connection. The connection is about sharing our resources of trained and vetted clergy, coordinating our ways of worship and governance, while still allowing local congregations to adapt to serve their mission field is our modus operandi. Number one, we'll encourage people to accept Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Number two, we'll grow the church in the United States and worldwide. Number three, we'll provide emergency aid in crisis situations throughout the world. Number four, we'll deliver essential health care and hospitals, educational means, and schools, universities and seminaries, orphanages and homes and safe places for older adults and children. And five, broadcast the good news of our mission together through our United Methodist communication. 
I have described the church that you grew up in, Emily, one that helped form you into the compassionate Christian person whom you are. Our local church raises a mission of loving all people into relationship with Jesus Christ, and here, all means all. In your church, our church, the United Methodist Church, we all are marked with the same waters of baptism, just like you. No matter what country you were born in and regardless of the color of your skin, whether you spent time in prison or in recovery, we say with Jesus in Revelation 22, come into the waters. We operate in our mission field in Dallas to invite the young and old, the married and singles, those who are gay and straight, the well-bodied and those challenged physically and mentally, all because God so loved the world that he gave. I'll answer your next question about why we fought for over five decades over inclusion of a singled out group of people and why we will never do that again as people called United Methodists. Thank you for subscribing to the Picklin Parson YouTube channel and if this discourse is helpful, please share it. United Methodists are about opening the doors of the church as wide as we can because they are not our doors. The doors belong to Jesus. Thank you.